the successor to the X35 crossover, one of Hyundai's most important cars. However, the Korean company is pitching it more upmarket, which explains the adoption of the more evocative Tucson name, the Santa Fe-like design and the increased dimensions. There's a wide range of petrol and diesel engine options, two- or four-wheel drive, manual and automatic gearboxes and five generously equipped trim levels to choose from. It looks more like an SUV than a crossover too, which should appeal to the target customer based on it's not the sort of car to take for a blast in the countryside for the sake of it. But if you're in a hurry the Tucson is up to the challenge, with great body control under braking and little unwanted lean in the corners. It's also commendably comfortable, even on larger alloy wheels. Refinement is the name of the game here and the Tucson really is a smooth and quiet operator, isolating those inside from everything else outside at least as well any rival in the segment. All of the available engines are quiet, and the gearbox is slick to use, though the automatic is a little slow-witted at times. We found the steering a little odd though. It's a dual-mode system allowing the driver to choose a sport setting, which reduces assistance in the bid for sportiness. It just feels strange to us and entirely unnecessary in a car like this, 